And I'm at the branch here with Abe asking for his insight on the things you can be doing now to better prepare for your financial future. TheRetirementKey.com is our website. You can find us there anytime. Begin the conversation with Abe and his team at Amish Financial. We also have links posted in the show notes. So just click there if that is more convenient. Or again, find us anytime at TheRetirementKey.com. So Abe, here we are. The, the the springtime is here. The birds, the bees, the flowers. It's a fantastic the wedding time bells, of year. Yes. The wedding bells abound. Yes, when did they you, do. What time of year did you get, and shall I get married? We got was married August 1st. Oh August my gosh. 1st. How how and brave of you to have an August. It had the potential to be like a 100 degree day <laughs> in August. Factory, right, right. It had the potential to be like a 100 degree day, but it was actually right around 80. It was just you a picture out. perfect day. Yes. Let me tell you something though. You, it's not like you get a better chance in May. My sister That's got true. married in May and she, the wedding, it was like a record heat wave. My great aunt actually ended up in the hospital having heat stroke. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. So that's why when Kyle and I got married, I was like, November. Yeah. I was like, I need it to be cold outside <laughs> nice here. And, and cool. it was still like sunny in 75. Oh, that's, that's perfect. The thing about the South. You never know. You never know. That's perfect. Uh, but and how long have you in your life? We have been married, married Shelly and I. I just remembered the other day because we were talking about it here in the office. And I was like, yeah. Shelly, it's been nine years. She's like, oh, yeah, it's been nine years. I guess that's what happens when uh, you get past five and then the seven-year itch. And then so I already, I've already started thinking about, you know, our 10-year and planning for that. I'm like, Good we, for you, you know, smart maybe man. we go back. Yeah, maybe we go back to Turks and Caicos. That's where we yeah. had our honeymoon. And so Aww. that's uh, probably our favorite place to go. And so nice. I'm already thinking about that trip but yeah i had to Can't remind shelly usually it's the other way around but no, uh my husband's the same way for me i always really? look at him and say when's our anniversary i think that's <laughs> a sign of a healthy marriage when the yes, wife is so like not true. hung up on it and the that's husband's true. like there for his wife that way i think it's a that's good shelly sign. and i <laughs> <laughs> that's me and kyle too i uh, i approve i think that's a good sign all right so let's let's talk about the whole idea of wedding mm-hmm. planning mm-hmm. if you're anything like me and Kyle, are you probably didn't have a ton of time. How much time were you invested in planning the wedding, or was just? I tried to stay out of it, and I <laughs> did stay out of it. I'll give some. I'll give a shout out right now to him to my mother in law, oh, Mary yeah. Margaret and Shelley planned yeah. it almost all with the help of a planner. But yeah, I just yeah. pretty much tried to show up and make sure my friends were Sorry. there to show up, and then just uh, be on had time. A great, had a great time that day. You have one job when you're the groom: just That's be right. where you're told to be and on time. That's right. When it comes to planning a wedding. You got to first ask yourself, how much time do you have? Because this new study found the average person spends 12 hours a week planning their wedding. And I guess that's just how many weeks you have leading up to your wedding. That's more than 500 hours all for one day. So I guess that's based on a year. It's embarrassing, I think, for all of us, if we were to do the math, Abe, to discover how much time we spend planning, not just for weddings, for vacations, for many things in our lives, versus how much time we spend planning for our retirement and our financial futures. Some wedding planners, they do come in, they claim that their services can give back about half of the time people spend. So thinking about what you do in your office, how do you work to help your clients, A, spend the amount of time that they should but also reclaim some of that time and perhaps even money when it comes to planning decades of a retirement. Yeah, look, Heather, you can try to do this on your own or if, or you can have an experienced yeah. guide, a fiduciary retirement planner who can hold your hand and walk with you every step of the way as you transition from your working career into retirement. And for those of you that are already retired, um, helping you as well. You know, our firm pretty much only works with people 55 and older getting close to retirement or already retired. This is a new phase. This is a new type of plan or should be a new type of plan. If we're just focused on investments, we're missing the boat because there's so much more planning to do in a phase two plan compared to that phase one plan. And we talk about the retirement mountain a lot, that accumulation phase, your working career versus the decumulation phase and the income and distribution phase. So you're asking about how a professional, financial professional, financial advisor, retirement planner can help a client to save time and money in retirement. There's a lot of ways. Vanguard has actually done a lot of research on this to determine a financial advisor's value. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the article in front of me, but it's usually two to 3% net positive return just by having um, an advisor on your side, meaning Mm -hmm. there's value there, a lot of value for a lot of ways. Here are some of those ways an advisor and really a specialist can provide value to you as they hold your hand transitioning into retirement and then retirement, building a doable plan. 
So a good financial advisor will work with you to establish goals, then examine your current income and expenses to determine what you have saved and if that's going to meet your income needs over the rest of your life. Providing more than just financial advice, you'd be surprised, maybe not surprised, Sometimes clients come in and it's just really a vent session about what's going in, going on in their lives or what's going on at their workplace or what's going on in politics. And they just, wanna, you know, have some um, uh, they just really want to have a vent session. Is it, is it just me or is it or is everything else I'm seeing out there in this crazy world? Strength scaring in numbers. You, Tell scaring me I'm not you as alone. Well. <laughs> yes. So advisors can provide more than just financial advice yeah. other than just yeah. discussing the investment portfolio. This is really a key difference in phase one and phase two. There are so many other retirement strategies that should be discussed and planned for tax planning, insurance planning, pension decisions, social security decisions, mm -hmm. knowing what to invest in and when to invest. Uh, if you're managing your own finances, it's difficult to stay on top of the best investments out there, difficult to know when to buy, when to sell. Most importantly, it's important for you to know what your own risk appetite is and comfort and tolerance. And it's helpful to have that discussion with a financial professional because you may be taking on more risk than you need to you may not realize that you can actually reduce risk at the point of retirement, and you may not know that until you have a second opinion and someone really go through all the math with you. An income plan, a roadmap. You need that income and plan and roadmap as you transition into retirement. If you just have that growth plan, just the investment plan, uh, then you're missing the boat on so many other pieces of a comprehensive plan. And finally, uh, finally I will say, removing stress as much as possible from your retirement plan. It's impossible to stay on, on top of investment trends, the markets, and other factors that could influence investments. And so choosing a great retirement planner can help to relieve some of that stress. Look, we're in the middle of a, an election year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's all kinds of stress that can happen during the middle mm -hmm. of an election year and all kinds of emotion that arise. We want to remove that emotion and make good, logical decisions that are best for our finances. Right. So we just had a couple call in and then come into the show. They're in their mid sixties, one and a half million saved Manassas, Virginia is where they live yeah. six on our risk scale. And they came in because they realized, Abe, I hear you talk about this all, all the time on the show. We have this money just like so many other people do across the DC metro area, but we have no plan. We have no plan other than this bucket of money. We knew how to get here. We knew how to save it. We knew how to put it away. You know, this the the, the lady, the wife works uh, for the government. She has a TSP, federal pension. She's getting the match. She's maxing out the TSP. Mm -hmm. They knew how to save a couple million bucks. No idea how to transition successfully into retirement. So what does that phase two plan offer this couple and so many other people in this area? It incorporates social security. It incorporates safety, protection of principal, plan for preserving principle, if that's important to you, a plan to continue growing your money because you could live another 30 plus years, uh, a plan for taxes, lowering and mitigating taxes. And really, when you think about it, the biggest difference in phase two and a plan for someone 55 and older versus phase one is that phase two plan is really focused and um, put together to try to mitigate and lower all the risks that can mess up your life savings. Phase one got you to retirement. Phase one got you to save a million, two, three million or more dollars, sometimes five to 10 million. But what are all the things you are doing right now to protect your life savings from the risks and pitfalls that can mess it up? That's where Abish Financial comes in. That's how we're different than the majority of the industry who continues to just focus on investment yeah. and rate of return. So if you sound like this couple from Manassas, Virginia, and you're in your 60s, 50s, 70s, you've saved a couple million dollars, you don't have a phase two plan, you don't have everything we talk about on this radio show, go to the retirementkey.com, click on the contact us tab at the top of the page, and we can begin to have these same conversations about your retirement with you as well. We also have links posted in the show notes, so you can just click there and head to our website that way, or just visit us anytime at theretirementkey.com. All right, so things that we are wor worried about, current climate, not just about, you know, how much time we spend planning, but how do we plan in the moment, in the now? The Federal Reserve is meeting again soon to talk about interest rates while Wall Street has been clamoring for a cut, they are betting that one will not happen. Here is market analyst Pete Najarian on Fox Business. 
So many people at the start of this year were predicting that there was going to be six or more rate cuts. I never agreed with that commentary, but it looks like we're going to probably, as we go through the year, if things kind of go through the way expected, we're probably going to see this year about two cuts, maybe. But the rest are going to be pauses, and I think this next one's going to be a pause as well. So the idea then, if he's right and the Fed is going to carry through on its pledge of higher interest rates for longer, how is that affecting the conversations you're having in your office? There's always opportunity in the middle of uncertainty and in the middle of both markets ups and downs. If you think about COVID, you know, we had a huge drop, then the market turned around, um, rates dropped, seven trillion went in, the markets took off, they, they just went on a tear until the top of 2022 when... Interest rates did the opposite, and the Federal Reserve realized, wow, this is a 40-year high inflation problem. What can we do to tackle uh, this issue? Let's raise rates 11 times. And now, you know, the markets have been pricing in rate cuts as early as March of 2024, and then I think, again, one or two by the middle of the year. Like we just heard, that's probably not going to happen. And right. the guy said, we might be looking at two rate cuts, maybe, is what he right. said. Right. So I think it's possible we could go through 2024 without a rate cut. So what does mm. that mean? That means that we'll likely still be able to earn, you know, four or five percent. Like right now, CDs are offering four or five percent in the bank and money markets, five percent. And, you know, um, those types of opportunities may not be around for long. You know, treasuries, you know, four or five plus percent currently when usually all these instruments, if you think about out of the stock market instruments, CDs, cash, money markets, treasuries, they usually earn between zero and 2% long term. So those, mm -hmm. those present a nice opportunity. There are so many things to be uncertain about in the world right now uh, with the election, you know, this year and so many other things, a couple of wars, yeah. but your financial future and someone's retirement doesn't have to be one, right? Okay. That does okay. not have to be uncertain. Okay. Control what you can. Put together a retirement plan that controls as many of the factors and moving parts and pieces in your retirement plan as possible. We just had a lady come in recently. She called into the show. She's from Bethesda, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Five million dollars saved. Six wow. on our risk scale, just north of the middle of the road. She's been with a big box firm in our industry for 20 plus years. Husband handled a lot of the investments. Mm -hmm. Now they're realizing there's nothing protecting their $5 million. It's wow. in that typical stock bond cash mix at a big yeah. box firm. She gets about one phone call per year on her investments, $5 million, paying, let's say, 1% in advisory fees, one phone call a year to see how they're doing. That's $50,000 in advisory fees. I was just saying, that like, sounds like a good job for that advisor. Yeah. And uh, she's realizing, she's like, you know, I've, I've, I've heard you on your show and I've been listening to your show. And I really, I realize the differences now between phase one investment based accumulation focused firms yeah. and how a retirement planning firm is different. And all of the different moving pieces there and different parts of planning, types of planning mm -hmm. uh, that I need, I'm not getting at this big box investment firm. Right. And so that was the issue is there's nothing protecting that $5 million from loss and there's no planning being had other than trying to help her make money. Okay. No phase two plan, just investment planning. And so she wanted to put a phase two plan into place and that's exactly what she did with us. That okay. phase two plan incorporates the roadmap that so many people need and want, tax planning, RMD planning, long-term care and healthcare planning, legacy planning, everything that really was not important to you in your life at 30, 40, and 50 years old. All these decisions have now come right to the front and center of your life and are extremely important and should be involved and incorporated in a great phase two retirement plan. So if you sound like this lady from Bethesda, Maryland, and you say, Abe, hey, I have a half a million or I have a $500,000, it doesn't matter. This money is important to you. It's your life savings. It's important to us as well. Go to the retirementkey.com, click on the contact us tab at the top of the page, and we can begin to have these same conversations about your retirement and your portfolio as well. You can also click on the links that we have posted in the show notes. Get that conversation started about that second opinion on your retirement savings and investments. Or again, our website, find us anytime at theretirementkey.com.